welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the next creation. In today's video, I want to respond to the question that was asked and it's about changing jobs in Qatar. And why is it that most of the times the Minister of Labor or that is in charge uh, rejects what we call the applications? Or most of the time, you may take long to be to, to get the feedback or even being approved by the Minister of uh, uh, Labor for you to change a particular job that you want to go to. Something that I need to share with you and something that I've, 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 I really want to share with you in one way or the other is that most of the times when you are looking for a new job, it's going to be in what you call phases. First of all, you have to think about the job you are going to uh, really apply for or which other position you want to do. Then, second of it all, you have to know which company are you going to work for. That is quite very important. So after identifying those two things, you can put them on a priority. You put them down on a paper. That is what we call a plan for yourself. When you put that on plan of yourself, you start up. You start up going to these jobs or to these companies that you want to go to and get what you call uh, maybe uh, submitting your CVs and after submitting your CV, if you're so lucky enough, they will call you and give you get into what you call the interviews and after getting into the interviews, they will definitely give you what you call the offer later. Yes, that is where we come in. Most of the times when we are looking for these companies, I keep on telling people, look for that company that is a real big company, uh, not a small company like where you're coming from. Look for a bigger, real, known company for you to look up that big opportunity for you. Remember, when we go to these small companies, most of these small companies also have their own problems in one way or the other. Which problems may not be an internal problems but as concerning the employees in one way or the other, but they may also have small problems, what you call financial problems and uh, 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 remittances that may be to the Ministry of Interior or the Ministry that is responsible uh, 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 for, for that case. Uh, remember, most of these companies or companies here do pay what you call taxes to the government for the what we call the trade license they do pay some obligations they need to pay some some services for services that from charged by the government so what happens most of the time if you go to a company that is really small and that company has some pending charges with the with the, with the government with the responsible government offices let's say for example this company you go to it has not been paying well what you call the trade licenses it has some penalties it has uh, some other dues to clear up and this is where the company you own what you call an offer letter so for this matter when you take that offer letter you will take that offer letter to what you call your employee to give you what you call an noc but remember, when you are getting an NOC from your employer, that employer also has to give you what you call a computer card. A computer card has to be part of what he gives you with the NOC. To enable the, to enable the new company, switch you from the other old company to the new company without any hurdle. But most of the times when you submit what you call your offer letter, you submit your computer card from the old company, to the ministry or you give them to your employer for your employer to take them to the ministry to see that they can change your job or change you amicably in a very good way that's where the problem comes from because the company that is taking you has some obligation or service charges that did not pay or has not been following what you call the government laws or the government rules that have been put in place that means you are not going to be approved very fast as it is required that is why most of the times I keep on telling the people, before you, you think of going somewhere, first research, first sit down, think of what you want to do or what you want to do next after this old job. Where, which other career do I have to go to? Or if I want to switch the job, which other job I want to switch for? And which company do I have to go? So most of those things are very quite very important. In at the end, you get a company that is really big, and that company, you know, the big companies definitely they will definitely settle out their obligation and set out the services that they normally don't want to get these other extra penalties. One way, like small companies that may try to indulge in one way. So, meaning that the offer letter you'll get, it will be a genuine, it will be approved because even the ministry, when you submit that offer letter, the ministry will go deep to find out 
what is the working of this company is it a very good company yes is it a very small company yes how has it been performing in fulfilling or paying up the services that are being charged or what they are supposed to pay so you find that if all those are got from what you call a good company and a very known company you are not going to have hurdles of you waiting for so long of you rejecting all your 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 change in one way or the other that's why you find sometimes sometimes some people have been so lucky that they are accepted or approved very fast because of what i've really tried to let you know hope i've tried to share something for you and this is exactly what you need to follow thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember this makes don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell however don't forget to like follow and comment i'll always be more than happy to get back to you thank you so much see you again it's mix from the mix creation tv